place where I've found um, Destiny Solutions to be so particularly useful in, in our work is moving quickly. It's an operational tool that enables a level of agility that most parts of our university don't have. So when we started using Destiny Solutions, one of the one of the most encouraging pieces I think that was part of the solution was the existence of the workflows. Um, so that not only helped us internally within Destiny manage automating our business processes, but it also gave us some really great ideas to build an infrastructure outside of Destiny to manage some of our higher level business processes. So we're actually kind of using integration of destiny to our business processes to actually increase our productivity at the institution level and within continuing ed. One of the big jumps up in getting into destiny one was having that self-service portal right available to students to have their history to self-serve their confirmations their certificates all of that became something added right from from us without more manpower once we got destiny i don't think anybody realized the power that destiny had to actually automate so many things that we were spending way too much inefficient time on a majority of our staff that just said their lives are so much easier now um, that they are using the tool in a way that it's intended and so much more efficient with their time Destiny has flexibility, and that really is in contrast to the way our, our core university is structured. And so those workflows are things that we can do, but we're able to do in a much more nimble and regular fashion on our own. Destiny's templates and looking at the processes, right, was being able to revamp all of our processes. It lit the, the light bulb to a lot of our users kind of saying, yeah, we should relook at these processes. But then it took a next step because they were in that process of let's do a little better. We were able to, uh, you know, kind of use that as a jumping off point to help them improve all of their business processes. Seeing that massive change and what we could take on simply by looking at process with the new tool, um, changed a lot of minds and went from negative to positive. Uh, in our university was in fact COVID when it hit in March and Destiny was identified as the tool to enable a dramatic response to a crisis. When we had this strategic objective to expose these students to our, our online community, um, it was a huge operational exercise and we needed to do it really fast and we needed to do it to scale. With the infrastructure of Destiny One and the flexibility that it had, the university leadership turned to us because we had the only system that would be flexible enough, agile enough, and quick enough to turn this around the way that we needed it to. And because Destiny spoke to our LMS, speaks to Banner, um, we could move these students through an operational process very quickly. Um, so getting that stood up and getting it stood up quickly, the flexibility of Destiny 1, it would not have been possible, but we did it and we did it really fast. The traditional credit side of the university is coming to us because we are being seen as a solution now because we're flexible and quick and that it has is largely because of the tool. Hands down, um, the most attractive piece of um, the integration of digital badging um, was the fact that Destiny One had partnered with Acclaim and had built in the Acclaim platform as an integration to Destiny. So we did not have to go to two separate places to manage our badges. We could go to one place um, and the, the integration is so seamless and it's so easy to set up. I mean, it's just so seamlessly built into the already existing features that were already in Destiny. It's just like one more click of a button. And um, visually for our learners, when, uh, to Dan's point, when they can go to their um, student portal and manage their profile, they can immediately see their digital badge, they can interact with it. Um, and so, um, there's just so many elements of that integration between Destiny 1 and Acclaim that was like a total winner for us. Um, couldn't have asked for anything kind of simpler than that.
you know, that integration point was key for us to even go down that road. Being able to add another platform that we could successfully administer um, with the same amount of manpower, but add so much more to the units that wanted to use it was, uh, I have no words. Anytime you can manage one system and take care of multiple tasks, it's key to developing anything new and, and uh, progressing forward. I couldn't have foreseen moving upon this initiative without that ability to have one platform in which I could administer everything. But really, Destiny One is our powerhouse. Destiny is our master platform, right? And Acclaim is our secondary platform. For us, I think that the great piece about having Destiny One in, in addition to Acclaim is Acclaim manages the issuance, but Destiny manages the program. So we have a lot more power um, by, by using Destiny One as our, as our single platform to manage digital badges and Acclaim merely as the issuance platform. When any academic unit or any um, department wants to do something creative, flexible, or new within the confines of those systems, it's going to take them years to, to accomplish those things. There's so many stop gates to make it difficult. Destiny One and Continuing Ed exist outside of that space entirely. And so when we've been um, part of these conversations where we'll hear the ideas and then they'll say, but how could we do that with X system? It's like, well, wait a minute. We have something that you can get that done with um, almost um, like immediately. We already have the infrastructure. We already have the integration. Um, and they look at us like, oh my gosh, we like, we just saved their world. The ability to, to take a course that we built and convert it from you know, a credit to a, a you know a non-credit offering in a digital badge context really quickly is a huge revenue earner and an opportunity for our faculty to generate some supplemental income. Uh, I think more and more our group is being asked to come to meetings and sit in on new ideas. And how could we get a pilot running under you guys, right? Because you can move so quickly. We've been introducing the concept of digital badging to our, our partners, many of whom don't have a format or way uh, to introduce digital badging. And that's a game changer for them uh, in terms of marketing. Not only articulate the return on investment for someone, but um, it explains what you did in the class in a way that a transcript doesn't do it. It's right there as a way for the learner to explain in their job interview or uh, in a professional context, specifically what they did. Post-COVID, uh, in the badges that we have given out, we have seen 85% acceptance. You know, without the tool, I could not have kept up. So there was just massive amounts of enrollments uh, going on around the university, and we were decentralized. So every unit was dealing with everything I'm dealing with now, but now, in two people, we can deal with all those things and give all that time back to those units to create their content. We want to try and be as self-service but high touch and customer friendly as possible. I went back to our project assistants who did a lot of this work manually prior to Destiny and asked them with the automation. So this is saving our staff between five and eight hours a week. This is 25 to 30% of their time um, that we've now opened up to do other initiatives and help us on other projects. When it comes to the mechanics, we added one thing, one click pretty much um, from a grade sheet and issuing from a course or a certificate or from a conference for that matter it's one extra click. We created new program offices and also new costing units. The flexibility of Destiny already had that in place um, for us to kind of build a partition to manage those. It is one click to issue a badge, um, but it's already in a space and then within a screen that we're already interacting with. Um, and so it's no time at all. The 
taxonomy, it's not really the system that makes badging difficult.